Hello, in this lecture we will find the area of the green square. In the drawing we have two squares. The small square, square FGED, we know that its area equals to 8 square units. And we also know that AC equals to CF and we want to find out the area of the green square. Okay, so first of all we know that in any square all its angles are equal uh, to 90 degrees. So in square FGED this is a right angle and in square ABCD the green square this angle is a right angle so actually triangle FEC is a right triangle because one of its ang angles, this angle, is a right angle. So, if we focus on the right triangle, triangle FED, according to the Pythagorean theorem, The square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the uh, squares of the perpendiculars. That is to say the square of the hypotenuse is FC square equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars equals to EF square or FE square plus F E C square. Okay. First of all, we will define side E D of the square S B. We know that all the sides of a square are equal to each other, so side E F will be also equal to B. And we will define side DC of the of square ABCD as A. So actually BC will be also equal to A and AB will be also equal to A. And uh, AD also equals to A. Okay, so, uh, and, uh, so, we know also that AC equals to FC, so, we have in triangle, in triangle FEC, in the right triangle FEC, In the right triangle FEC, this right triangle, we know that FC square equals to EF square plus EC square. The square of the hypotenuse FC square equals to FE square plus EC square. But we also know that FC equals to AC. It is given us in the question. Okay, so we can substitute FC in this equality by AC because they are, they are equal to each other. AC equals to FC, so we can substitute FC 
in this equality by AC because they are equal to each other. So instead of FC, we will write down AC square. equals to Fe square plus Ec square. Okay. Ac square equals to Fe square plus Ec square. Okay. But uh, what is the value of Ac? We know that all the angles in a, a square are equal to 90 degrees, so actually triangle ABC is a right triangle. So in the right triangle ABC, we know that we can implement the Pythagorean theorem. And according to the Pythagorean theorem, AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. Okay, AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. So this will be a question number one, and this will be a question number two. So actually AC square, but what is the value of BC? BC equals to A, so we can AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. According to the Pythagorean theorem, AC square equals to AB square plus BC square, but we know that AB equals to A, so we can substitute AB by A, so it will be AB square is A square, and BC, BC also equals to A, so BC square will be A square. So AC square equals to A square plus A square, or AC square according to equation number 2, equals to 2a square. Okay, ac square, we got in equation number 2, that ac square equals to 2 times a square. Okay, so we can substitute ac square in equation number 1 by 2 times a square, because ac square, ac square, equals to AC square equals to 2 times A square. Again, AC square equals to 2 times A square. So we can substitute AC square in, in this equation number 1 by 2 times A square because AC square equals to 2 times A square. So we can write down equation number 1. So Instead of AC square, we will write 2 times A square equals to FE square plus EC square. Okay. So Two times a square equals to f e square plus e c square. Okay. But what is the value of f e? F e f e equals to b. So we can substitute f e by b. So we will get that 2 times a square equals to, we will substitute fe by b because fe equals to b. So fe square will be b square plus 
EC square. What is the value of EC? EC equals to B plus A. So EC square will be equal to B plus A square. So in total we got that 2 times A square equals to B square plus B plus A square. Here we, here we will open the brackets. So we will get that 2 times A square equals to B square plus B plus A square is B square plus a square plus two times a b okay we got that two times a square equals to b square plus b square plus a square plus two, plus two times a b b square plus b square is two b square so i will write it down So here we can subtract a square from equation number one. Okay. So two times a square minus a square is a square, and a square minus a square is zero. We'll get that a square equals to two b square plus two times a b okay here we will subtract two b square from this equality and we will get that a square minus two times b square equals to two times a b so here we will subtract 2 times AB from the equation number 1 and we will get that A square minus 2 times AB minus 2 times B square equals to 0 okay So here we have a quadratic uh, equation that A is the variable, okay, A is the variable in this quadratic equation, we can write it uh, that 1 times A square plus minus 2AB minus 2b square equals to 0 okay so we got this quadratic equation that states that 1 times a square plus minus 2 times a b minus 2 times b square equals to 0 and uh, actually the general solution of a quadratic equation, if we have a quadratic equation, a general quadratic equation is a times x squared plus b times x plus c equals to zero. So this is a general quadratic equation when x is the variable so we know that the solution to this quadratic equation is actually x equals to minus v plus minus 
root of b square minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a. Okay? This is the solution for a general quadratic equation. And we have in our specific quadratic equation one times a square plus minus two times a b minus two times b square equals to zero. So that is actually our specific quadratic equation. We can write it Uh, 1 times a square plus minus 2 times a 2 times uh, b minus 2 times b times a minus 2 times b square equals to 0 ok so this is our specific quadratic equation 1 times a square plus minus 2 times b times a if uh, minus 2 times b square equals to 0 again here the variable is x uh, uh, the variable x is a ok so x equals to a so I write it here. We know that the variable of this quadratic equation is a. So actually x equals to a and the uh, capital A equals to 1. Capital B equals to minus 2b. And capital C equals to minus uh, 2B square. Okay, so this is the ABC of our specific quadratic equation, and the variable in our specific quadratic equation is A. So we will solve, we will find out the value of A according to the special formula for solving any quadratic equation. Okay, so X is A equals to minus B. Minus B is actually minus, minus 2B. plus minus root of b square b square b is minus 2b so b square is minus 2b square minus 4 times a a is 1 so it is 4 times minus 4 times 1 times c c is minus 2b square over 2 times a, a is 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. So in total, we got that the value of our variable in our quadratic equation, a is equal to minus minus 2b plus minus plus minus minus 2b square minus 4 times minus 2b square so here minus and minus is plus 
So I want it down. So A equals to 2B plus minus root of minus 2B square is 4B square minus 2B minus 4 minus 4 minus 2B square is actually plus plus 8B square over 2 Okay, in total we got that our variable a equals to 2b plus minus root of 4b square plus 8b square, 4b square plus 8b square equals to 12b square. So we got that a equals to 2b plus minus root of 4b square plus 8b square is 12b square over 2. So, in total, we got that a equals to 2b plus minus root of 12b square over 2. 12 equals to 4 times 3, so I write it down. A equals to 2b plus minus root of 4 times 3b square over 2. Okay, A equals to 2B plus minus root of 4 times 3B square over 2. The root of 4 is 2, so I write it down. A equals to 2B plus minus root of 4 is 2 times root 3B square over 2. So here we have 2 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator, so we can cancel 2. Okay. A will be equal to B plus minus the root of 3B square is root 3 times B. So in total we got that A equals to B plus minus root 3B. So we have here two solutions. The first solution is actually that A equals to B plus root 3 times B. And the second solution is A equals to B minus root 3 times B. Okay. So we have those two solutions for A. But this solution is not correct because a is the side of the green circle, uh, of the green uh, square. E, A is the size of the green side square. And a size is always a positive number. So it can but be a negative number. But here, as you can see here, If we take a common factor B, 
out of this equality we will get that a equals to b in the brackets we will have 1 minus root 3 and 1 minus root 3 is negative times positive is negative so a is a negative number a is negative but a is the size of the square size the, si the size of the green square size so it must be a positive number so this is not correct uh, solution so we will we'll delete it and the only solution that is left is that a equals to b plus root 3 b here we will take a common factor as b we will take a common factor b out of this equality we will get that a equals to b and in the brackets we will have here 1 plus root 3 ok so we got the solution that a equals to b times 1 plus root 3 but we also know that uh, the area of the small rectangle of the, of the small square equals to 8 square units the area of any square equals to the multiplication of these two sides so the area of this square is b times b b square equals to 8 units okay b square equals to 8 units so so it is given us in the question that b square equals to 8 units so we know that b square equals to 8 units so here we will multiply this equality and we will get that a square equals to b square times 1 plus root 3 square ok so we squared this equality again we squared this equality and we got that a square equals to b square times 1 plus root 3 square ok after we squared this equality we got that a square equals to b square times a square equals to b square times 1 plus root 3 square so actually 1 plus root 3 square is uh, 1 square plus root 3 square is 3 plus 2 times root 3 ok in total we got that a square equals to b square in the brackets we have 1 plus 3 minus 2 times root 3 1 plus 3 is 4 so I write it down we will get that a square equals to b square times 4 plus 2 root 3 ok so we got this equality actually a square is the area that we are looking for the area of the green square a square equals to the area of the green square that we are looking for we got that a square equals to b square 
times 4 plus 2 times root 3 and we have already found out it is given us in the question that b square equals to 8 square unit that is the area of the small square it equals to 8 uh, square units so we can substitute b square by 8 because b square equals to 8 okay so we we'll get that the area of the green circle a square equals to b square we will substitute b square by 8 so it is 8 times 4 plus 2 times root 3 here we will we'll get that a square equals to 8 times 4 is 32 plus 8 times 8 times 2 is 16 times root 3 ok so we got that a square equals to 32 plus 16 times root 3 and actually it is square units yes that is the area of the green square okay or in terms of numbers a square equals to 59.173 square units okay so the area of the green square equals to 59.713 again I write it again the area of the green circle equals to the area of the green square square ABCD equals to 59.713 square units or it equals also to 32 plus 16 times root 3 square units Okay, the area of this green circle equals to either 59.713 square units or 32 plus 16 times root 3 square units. Okay, so now I will summarize the lecture. Actually, we wanted to find out the area of this green square we have the small square square FGED that equals to 8 square units uh, in its area and we also know that uh, AC equals to FC FC equals to AC and we want to find out the area of the green square okay so we know that uh, the the inside the, the all the angles inside the square are right angles so this is a right angle, this is a right angle, this is a right angle, this is a right angle. 
and in this square, the small square, all of its angles are right angles, so this is also a right angle. So, because of the fact that this is a right angle, triangle FEC, this triangle is a right triangle, and according to the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse, that is to say FC square, equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars, equals to FE square plus EC square. Okay, again, in triangle FEC, according to the Pythagorean theorem, FC square equals to EF square plus EC square. But it is given us in the question that AC equals to FC. So we can substitute FC by AC in this equality. So we will get that FC square is AC square because FC equals to AC. F AC square equals to FE square plus EC square. Then we related to triangle uh, ABC in this green triangle, green right triangle ABC. We know that the square of the hypotenuse equals to the sum of the squares of the perpendiculars. The square of the hypotenuse is AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. Okay, again, in the right triangle ABC, AC square, the square of the hypotenuse, equals to AB square plus BC square. Equals to AB square plus BC square. Okay, but what is the value of AB? AB according to our definition equals to A and BC equals also to A so AC square equals to AB square that is A so it is A square and BC square is A square because BC equals to A so we got that AC square equals to 2 times A square okay we know that AC square equals to 2 times A square so we can substitute AC square in equation number one by two times A square because AC square equals to two times A square. Okay, we substitute that AC square by two times A square in equation number one and we got that two times A square equals to FE square plus EC square. But what is the value of FE? Fe equals to b, so here we will get that 2a square equals to Fe square and Fe equals to b, so it is Fe square is b square. And what is the value of a, ec? The value of ec is actually b plus a, so ec square is b plus a square. Okay, so here we substitute that ec by b plus a because ec equals to b plus a. So EC square is B plus A square. So in total we got that 2 times A square equals to B square plus B plus A square. Okay, so here we opened the brackets and we got that 2 times A square equals to B square and B plus A square equals to B square plus A square plus 2 times AB. Okay, and here uh, we subtracted the b square plus b square is 2b square and here we subtracted a square from equation number 1 so 2 times a square minus a square is a square here we have 2b square and a square minus a square is 0 and what is left is 2 times a b so here we have a quadratic equation we subtracted uh, 2 times b square from this equation number 1. We got a square minus 2 times b square equals to 2 times a b. We subtracted 2 times a b from this equation number 1. And we got the quadratic equation that states that a square minus 2 times a b minus 2 times b square equals to 0. Here we multiply a square by 1 and uh, we actually know that uh, 
the general formula for any quadratic equation, uh, for a quadratic equation, uh, the general formula for a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c, when x is the variable, and uh, the solution for this quadratic equation, we want to find out the value of the variable x. So x will be equal to minus b plus minus root of b squared minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a. So we have in our specific quadratic equation uh, 1 times a squared minus 2 times uh, a b minus 2 b squared equals to 0. So here we got that 1 times a squared minus 2 times b times a minus 2 times b squared equals to 0. And uh, a is the variable so of this uh, quadratic equation. So x, the variable x equals to a. And we also know x equals to a and capital A equals to 1. Capital B equals to minus 2b. And uh, capital C equals to minus 2b squared. Okay, so we got all the values of A, B, and C. So we put data, the data inside this equality. And we found that A equals to minus minus 2B plus minus root of this, uh, uh, what we have here. Uh, and uh, at the end, after we solved uh, this simple equality, we found out that the value of A is actually can be either uh, equal to uh, plus minus B plus equals to A equals to B plus minus root 3 times B. So we have two solutions for A that are possible. The first solution is that A equals to B plus root 3 times B. The second solution is that A can be also equal to B minus root 3B. If we take here a common factor B, we get that A equals to B times 1 minus root 3. 1 minus 3 is a negative number. So in this solution, we will find out that A is a negative number and it is not possible because A is the side of the green triangle. A is size and a size is always neg uh, positive. So this solution is not correct. And the only solution that is left the, is that A equals to b plus root 3b. Here we will take a common factor b out of this equality and we got that a equals to b times 1 plus root 3. But we know that the area of the small square equals to 8 square units. And what is the area of any square? The area of any square is the multiplication of its two sides. The size of one side equals to the other side. So it is b times b. b square is the area of uh, this uh, square. And we know that the area of this square equals to 8 square units. So b square equals to 8 square units. We know this from the question. It is given us in the question. B square equals to eight square units. So we can substitute uh, B by, by B here. Or, or first of all, we square this equality. After we square this equality, we got that A square equals to B square uh, times one plus root three square. Then 
we opened the brackets and we found out that a square equals to b square or after we did all the calculations we ca we we found uh, actually here we have b square and, and we have already found out that b square equals to 8 so we can substitute b square by 8 because b square equals to 8 so we got here that a square equals to 8 times 4 plus root plus 2 times root 3 8 times 4 is 32 and 8 times 2 is 16 so we got that a square that is the area of the green circle equals to either 59.713 square units or it can be also equal to 32 plus 16 times root 3 square units it is the same uh, answer in two different forms in terms of numbers the area of the green square equals to 59.713 square units or it can it can be also equal to 32 plus 16 times root 3 square units again the area of the green square equals to 59.713 square units okay thank you very much